Hello, I am going to attempt to film my first tutorial video. This is the first run of it, so we'll see how <laughs> it goes. I've, I think I've got everything together that I need. This is a um, tutorial that I've sort of blogged about. So I'm actually gonna test how good my blog instructions are, because I haven't done this in about a month. Um, let's see if I can make sense of them, because if I can't then you've got no chance. Um, I'll be making butterfly tea bags, which I uh, had as my swap spot on stage. Um, so let's get going. So first things first, we're gonna stamp out our butterflies. So this is using the butterfly gala stamp set, which is carried over into the new catalogue. So you will be able to get it, which is good news. But you can obviously decorate these however you want. The main idea was for um, something to give as little Christmas gifts or for swaps. So it just looks a bit special, but something basic. So. Stamping in black. And then I'm going to do this one in rich razzleberry. I did them in all um, of the different Regal's colours um, for my swap. So that's quite good as well. Right, which one are we doing first? We're going to do the bottom one first. I'm actually going to do a different size block. Use this little one. I'm going to stamp, well, ink, and then I'm going to stamp off over here, and then stamp on here, which should give a more faded effect. I'm also going to press down a bit heavier on the top. Just roll it. And then you sort of come back in opposite and sort of stamp off the bottom and then you can sort of roll the top again and you get that sort of faded texture which um, practice makes perfect on that I think <laughs> even though I did make well 45 of these um, the other month I still got a, a long way to go on technique but it's fun so it's going to do the same again but the other way around and there's my butterfly I'm not actually going to Colour in the little bus flight because we don't need him. So that's all you need to do with your inking and stamping on this one because it is mostly a 3D product. So then you need your butterfly stamp. But I'm going to wait and leave that to dry for a second. I can see that it's a little bit wet. It should be okay in a minute. Um, and we'll cut the GSP. So you can use obviously any trimmer for this. You can still currently get this um, trimmer from stamping up, but it is getting discontinued. Um, and if you buy sheets of DSP, which I think are coming out in the new catalogue, very similar, same colours, but with a slightly different pattern. Um, they come in six by six inches and we just need a six by three. So you can make two tea bags out of the same piece, which is handy and was entirely an accident when I came up with the design, I'll admit. So, three inches, and then, according to my wonderful instructions, we're scoring the thin side at half an inch on each side. So the good thing about this trimmer, which is why I probably will um, keep it going forwards, is that it's got a scoring as well as a cutting blade on it. So even if, um, if I can't use it for the blades in future, I can use it for scoring, which I found really handy when you're just doing little things. 
I do have a big scoring board. So, doing half, half, turn it round, and then long side at half again. And then I'm turning it round and measuring on this side now, and I'm going to do three inches and three and a half inches. And as I say, I've already um, done a blog post about this with all the measurements on, so you um, can go over there for the measurements. You don't need to write them down. So this is a bit where my instructions were a bit vague, and I thought it might be helpful to the video because I've just said cutters shown in the photo, which is not particularly helpful. I know. <laughs> So I'm just going to bend these a little bit, I'll score them properly, I'll finish them properly afterwards. That's the one thing that I didn't have on my photo of supplies at the beginning, isn't it? It would be something. And also scissors. I'm Sam Thorpe. I was labelling my supplies for uh, all the creative stuff going on at, on stage this weekend. We're all sharing around with stuff. Um, so, let me go off my picture. So, I'm cutting in here. This is on the short score here. And then I'm cutting in. Maybe I didn't pick the best colour yet, but this is the other side of that bend in the middle and then I'm actually going to cut up this way excuse my nails I am letting them breathe at the moment which anyone who's used gels and things before will know what that's like so and then it's just cutting diagonally down here so that's a bit that might not have been completely obvious from my picture. And then up here, it's doing the same thing again, but this side. And then we're just going to do the same on the other side, which once you've done one, it's really easy to see. Sorry, I don't know if I've just stuck my head in the middle of the camera there. Got like a little overhead stand that got my mobile phone on to film this and I haven't actually used it before. So that's why I've got no idea whether I'm sticking my head in the camera or not. But I did check that you could sort of see my grid paper when I started. She says, as going off camera, off the grid paper, right. That should look like my photo on there. So the only thing that's different is that I've then, you don't need a handheld punch for this, but it's quite useful, done a little hole just on the bend in here, which you can just use pokey tool or pokey scissors or something if you want to. And then I've cut like this. So you can slide your, your string through for your tea bag. So now we've done that. Put that to the side and we'll stamp out our butterfly, carry on with that. So, I've also just remembered that I have gotten a very key ingredient for this, which is my ribbon. I'll have to run and grab that in a minute. So, we've got my butterfly there. I've got black stamp and write marker, which you can draw your butterfly on with, or, well, there is a little butterfly stem that comes I lied, we haven't finished on the stamping. Of the stamp set. But I, when I was making quite a few of these, kept my black stamp and write marker with me. Because I found that I did stamp off a bit or, you know, the antennae, antennas didn't look as good as I wanted on some of them. So it was quite easy to fix mistakes using that. Which I might do a little bit more. You can see what I mean. So that bit there, I can just 
Oops, a bit with that. And then we've got a butterfly. So, tea bag. I bought a box from Amazon of these tiny everyday tea bags, a hundred of them for about nine pounds. That was very cost effective. So you pull the tea bag round, and then what I did is I bent this around to keep this so that you've got your, your brewing instructions on it. I folded it round and then I glued that together with a, a glue dot and then glued the butterfly on. So we'll do that now with these. Oh, you can see me shaking a little bit. No, it's not from all the wine last night. Maybe. <laughs> mostly nerves that's what I'll tell myself so put him over there him on there I'm not sure the butterfly tea bag going on so um I don't actually know where my uh, burnishing tool my bone folder is um but given that this is quite thin card you don't actually need to use it all um, and actually it might be better to do with your fingers so you don't uh, overdo the paper too much because this folds fine as it is so the way that this is going to come together is that you're going to want to put your tea bag there and that's where he's going to get stuck and then this is going to come around here and you can sort of fold him over a little bit so he sits nicely but the way that all fits together is just to go like this like this and he goes in and then that folds over so what we'll do is we'll stick him to the front first so that we can get our string to the length that we want it so put him in that there and then I need to do a quick run to go and get my ribbon Right, peace, bye. I'm back. So this is probably my first reel of ribbon that I've actually used all of it, or most of it, and it's because of um, these tops that I made. So pull through, cut DSP, just reading my instructions where I don't think I've actually said about how much ribbon you need. So I'll update that. Um, so we're going to get the handheld punch back out again. So we've stuck him on, we've got him there, got a little tea bag sat in, fold these under. So this is the no glue part in the, you know, it's the tea bag that needs the glue to hold onto it, but the actual um, sort of little, I don't know, it's not a box, is it? Holder, custom package is um, here. So, fiddle to get him straight there. So that goes over there and you've got your, your tea bag sorted. So then what I did was turned it round and punched some holes here-ish, here-ish, is that easy? And then you just pull the ribbon through and do the bow. I'm actually going to good thing about glue, glue dots, so when you actually come to use it you can um, pull it off the glue dots because they're repositionable which is good. Um, I am now going to fail to do the right size of ribbon so I'm going to do that 25 centimeters and see how that goes and I've just realized that I now have to try and thread and bow a ribbon on camera. I did get my technique down when I was doing the swaps though the ribbons were all totally squiffy and lopsided and terrible and then I realized that if I sort of tied them the opposite way than I was, so accidentally did it. Um, they were really straight and beautiful. But as I say, that was about a month ago. So chances of remembering me remembering that and doing that right are quite slim. So, let's 
So, so whether I naturally want to do it is to tie it that way, but what I did do is tie it this way instead, which is probably the way that you're supposed to do it since it works out better. But my natural instinct is to tie it the other way. So if nothing else in this video, if you struggle with bows, maybe uh, that's a useful tip. So you can have him there and then you can just cut off the ends. 25 centimeters wasn't too bad a guess, was it? <laughs> As I say, I will update my blog instructions to make sure that that's on there for you. Um, but there you go. Obviously, uh, stamping's a little bit blotchy there, but you get the idea. Um, and chances are you might be a bit better at, at this than me. But that's my first tutorial. Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully this is all right when I play it back and I'll put it back up. Um, and see you again soon. Um, obviously this is on my YouTube channel, so please um, do subscribe. And if you want notifications of when I put out any other videos, then do the little bell symbol as well. So this is for my blog, CuriousMuseCrafts.com. Head over there and like me there as well if you want to see any blog posts that I put up. Thanks, bye.